Welcome back to TacosTheGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more anime reviews. And today we are going to be reviewing Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, the prologue. Episode one currently is out today, but as of time of this recording, um, the subtitles are out of sync on Crunchyroll. So I'm not going to review that until the subtitles are fixed because the dialogue appears one minute after the character says it so it's hard to review it when everything's out of whack so once that's fixed we will get you episode one review but in the meantime i want to talk about this prologue which i just finally got a chance to watch and as always i give you a brief synopsis and i will be botching names so please forgive at folk vanguard a front construction inside a asteroid the gundam lift is undergoing operating tests in the vandas institute laboratory the rift has yet to manage to meet the conditions imposed by the council and test pilot eleonora is growing impatient that same day her daughter erie is celebrating her fourth birthday and this was amazing i really really did enjoy this prologue this prologue really kept me immersed really kept me gripping it was emotional it was hard-hitting it was shocking at points too because i didn't expect the level of violence to be shown that quickly and it escalates quickly i one thing i really did like a pro, about the prologue here is that it does set up the show very very nicely and i'm hoping that episode one keeps this same tone but just based off of what i saw a little bit of episode one before i realized that the subtitles was out of sync is that it, it does get toned down a little bit um, because we got to introduce Eerie, the little girl right here, as the main protagonist. Um, so I, I'm, I'm hoping that it keeps the same tone here because, man, the prologue was good. If you have been turned off by Gundam or wasn't really happy with other Gundam series in the past, I will say it's now it's time to come back and give it a chance just based off this prologue alone. One thing I really did like the prologue, the story-wise, story-wise for the prologue, it's good. Uh, there is a lot, there's a lot of talk about the council and what are Gundams are. One thing I really like is that what are Gundams are needed. Gundams are now damaging to humans. And um, there's also this debate about experiments with this probe called Gund, where they're using mobile suit parts in order to enhance humans or like recover limbs. So there's a, this debate about that as well. Eleanor is one of the people who has like mecha parts in her and that was how she was able to survive that's something that's hinted and i want to see a little bit more of her story um explored because the mother eleanora she's very interesting man i want to know her backstory more than eerie who is going to be our protagonist for the show and i don't know um she Eerie's character, she's just four years old in this um, prologue, so I can't really complain. She's acting just like how a four-year-old would act. She's a child at this point. But based on what I saw a little bit of episode one, and once it's fixed, I'll give you a full review on that. Uh, she doesn't really stay... She really is kind of the same type of character, like from a four-year-old. It's just now she's just she's this over-energetic girl. And... It really was taking me out at points. Even in the prologue, I was like, okay, I get it. She's a kid, but I'm just like, okay, can we get back to the mom? Because the mom is cool. I want to know more about the mother. And it doesn't really explore her that much. But I will say this. When shit hits the fan in this prologue, it hits the fan. I mean, people were dying left and right. And I didn't even realize who was going to die. I thought some of these people were going to be Mace named characters. Nope. Boom. Bye. You're gone. Animation-wise it's gorgeous from the lighting the aesthetics the use of 2d 3d it's a gorgeous gorgeous looking anime they really put a lot of money into this you can tell they went in for this series and it, it shows the love and care the detail the mobile suits designs are really great as well action sequences the blood was great as well um just the character uh, animations the facial expressions the emotion that's resonating voice acting was top notch the score was great i love the score so far especially the score when it came to the ending of the episode the last final scenes that emotional beats that really resonated with the audience i feel like it's really going to do a good job i thought it was a great job i thought it was handled very 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 well and it's just a it was a great prologue i will say if you are turned off by gundam 
and you have written off Gundam for a while because you weren't happy about previous entries, I would say at least, if anything, if you're not going to watch the show, at least give the prologue a shot. Because the prologue, I think, will hook you into their political uh, debates about whether Gundam should be used and, you know, things about using uh, mechs and, you know, mechs prop parts to enable limbs and enhancements and things like that. And I think you're going to like the mom character, Eleonora. And Eerie is not growing on me yet. I had to see the show. Um, but she kind of, uh, you know, she kind of was like this annoying four-year-old child to me. And that was kind of turned off for me for, uh, a little bit. But at the same time, it's a child character. So eventually, you know, in anime, the child character is always like the sweet, bubbly, innocent girl. And she did get annoying for me. That's just me. But it works for the show. And hopefully in the episode, we get to see a little bit more of maturity, um, obviously, because she is going to be in the you know main character of the show. So hopefully um, we get to see some of the effects of what happens on the show because there's things that's going around her and people are literally dying. She's so oblivious to it. I mean, she's a she's a child. So, I mean, obviously she's not going to know what's going on. But hopefully now that she's older there's going to be some little weight to what's happening in a prologue that's going to you know something that she's going to have to come to terms with so only time will tell but overall solid 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 prologue solid entry i'm really hyped for the show once they fix the subtitle issues on the crunchyroll i will review it so this is justin from metacosageeks.com definitely put this on your must watch list i'm giving this two thumbs up two thumbs up uh Great prologue, great intro. We're looking forward to it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're watching this on YouTube. And thank you for supporting the UWL, our weekly WWE 2K Universe show that we do weekly. Um, Super Slam is coming, our big super show, aka pay per view. So that you're not paying for, you're watching it here on YouTube. But yeah, definitely check that out. We got some more content coming your way. Catch you on the next one. Peace.